not date or take black women serious. And it's not because I don't want to talk or date or not take them serious. It's because on average, okay, your typical black woman will call me unattractive. Okay, so she calls me unattractive, but yet all the other races of women, immediately they fall in love with me. They, they love my personality, my character, the way I move, my intellect, how I do things. But the black woman, all she sees is in her mind, cornball, he, 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 it's even, it's, it's, there is no in between, there is no gray area with the black woman, okay? So if there's no gray area, I either have to be a thug or I have to be like an, a super white man, like a black man that's white. And if I'm neither one of those two things, I'm in the gray area. And if you're in the gray area with the black woman, you don't exist. She does not see you. How many marriage proposals do you expect a group of women who have consistently proven themselves to be intolerable? insufferable, combative, masculine, unsubmissive, stubborn, know-it-alls, who create drama and conflict. Do you expect how many marriage proposals? Do this is the reason why men don't want to date black women. It's nothing to do with racism. It's to do with being masculine and aggressive. The average woman, the black American woman, is 180 pounds. 180 pounds. That's average. That's crazy. Meaning more than half of the black American women are above 180. They're coming like Brock Lesnar. And the problem is, is they're looking up to people like Cardi B, Megan Salian. Cardi B has literally been on interview saying multiple times how she's drugged people, stole their money, done all these horrible things. And you have all these black women saying she's a queen, she's a queen. The problem with so many of these black women is they're so fat and bulky and they're acting like, why am I not being treated like this European model? Because you're not a model. It's nothing to do with your color. It's just she's a beautiful model. She looks amazing. You are massive. This is the. He really may not be a man's man because he said his girl got him smoking. So you like to be what? initiated. You're not the initiator. What? What? Yeah. Because my girl got me smoking. Some say like you like to. What you like to follow. You not. You don't like to lead. No, I'm just. I'm very um comfortable in who I am. True. Honestly, I like that, Jay. Uh. That's make that what makes me more of a man's man. Any if if you want to be technical. Yeah, because I wish I could tell my nigga what to do and he listen. Damn, that's, that's unfortunate. You want a maid, not a man. That's a valid point, though. Is you is he a fault? Because she said you. He said my girl got me smoking. Well, did she make you do? It? You know what I'm saying? But well, you wasn't smoking, but you following her lead. Though. You know what I'm saying? But hey, yeah. What y'all think about that in the comments, man? I don't know, bro. But I'm not saying you can't listen to your girl. Sometimes your girl will probably have, have a good point, but smoking ain't a good. That's a bad habit. You don't want to pick up a bad habit from anyone. You know what I'm saying? But let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. But he's a maid. He's a maid. You say he listen. I'm a maid. He's not a maid. Listen. You said you. What like makes you a maid? I don't know. That's Dad's word. What makes you? What makes my maid? What Trishana's looking for? Yeah. Okay, my friend Trishana Helm. Is looking for a man to come when she's out working all day like today. Mm -hmm. When she goes home, she want him to be sitting there on the bed, dick out, ready to rub her feet with some oil, maybe have cooked for her, um, fuck her good. After she gets fucked, she want to lay back down, get rubbed on, talk about her day. She want to go to sleep before him. Him watch her sleep to make sure nobody comes in the house to, <laughs> to get her. Hmm. And then she gonna be single forever. She talking about what she want. What are you gonna give, man? That's what they need to be saying. When I get in a relationship, what I'm gonna give is this. She's talking about what she want. Look, listen to this foolish. It's like some fairy tale stuff. I hope she was joking, but I think she's joking. But this, this is the reality. This is the reality, fellas. And and when he can go to sleep is when she wakes up to go back to work. So let me ask you something. <laughs> Are you, you you wanna pay for that? And you she's know, willing to pay. I am. Not him per se. But when Where the camera at? We're hiring right now. For a man? For a man. Hiring right now to do everything that they said the following. And she's hiring. We will negotiate man. the price. Yeah. She mm. In that case, it'll work, I guess. <laughs> If one of you guys out willing to get paid to do that, I mean, it sounds like a good job. You know what I'm saying? Y'all might as well, y'all need to hit her up in the inbox. You feel me? She said she paying for it. That's an easy job. You paying, all she needs you to do is lay it down, rope her feet. You feel me? <laughs> I don't rope feet, though. I, I, I don't do that. I don't like feet. The feet, I'm not a feet person, so I don't even rope my white feet, so you couldn't pay me to do that. 
full dick. time required. So you're gonna pay for that dick? You know, save them. All right, so let save me who? save them and throw them back. Save if I'm requiring that much out of you, I will take you from your job. And when I'm done, with you, I'll take you back to your job. So, wait, we already said you can't, you can't deal with a guy that got a job. Do you have a job, Jay? Yes, okay. Why well, can't I deal with you? The reason why I can't deal with you, <laughs> <laughs> she no, said no. it as a like it was like so a, she can't date a dude who got a job. Option, like, no, it's not an option, and that's what I was gonna say. Rule respect to your girlfriend. That's not. That's not what she's I. She's not mean. gonna take it personally. Yeah, she no, I can't working. take anybody that got a job either. That's why I said I, would. I don't not, want though? nobody with a job because because if we want to go to Jamaica yeah. to see your girls' family, and you can't because you got a job. But comes, you can't tell them like, oh, I gotta go to Jamaica tomorrow. True. Like you got to. No, but when it so comes you could just to, leave your job. I mean, anytime. Like right, like you told us we had to push the time back because you didn't get off work till a certain time. Like that yeah. already is like a hassle. Okay. No, but that's a red flag. For me, no, it's flag. not a red flag. But for me personally, because I know when a lot of people say, "Oh, I can't date a man with a job," a lot of people on the internet take it to offense. But me, mm -hmm. Destiny, cannot mm -hmm. date a man with a job. One because I'm very spontaneous, and I need wait, 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 Jay, before you get to leaning back and breaking the chair. What I'm saying is, and I also need a man to understand where I'm at in the moment that I'm at. Like, I probably will have a week ride work so much, and then I'll have a week ride. Lead them for the streets, man. Lead them for the streets, guys. I'm trying to tell you. These type, they made for the streets, man. They made for the street. Leave them in the streets, fellas. Don't don't save them, please. But hey, man, I'm finna drop ten of these hats, man. Put a one in the comment if you can be one of the supporters. There will never be another ten made like this. We just started the channel, man, like three months ago. So this is gonna be my first drop. I want to see if I got ten true supporters. So I'm gonna drop this hat. Put a one in the comments if you're gonna support, man. Hey, hey, don't forget to bless the comment. Don't forget to bless the cash app because you see how they talking. A lot of times my videos begin demonetized. So the cash app will keep me on. You feel me? YouTube blessing y'all with these bangers. You hear me? Let's get back into the video, man. Don't work at all. You get what I'm saying? So as an entrepreneur, it's like it's very up and down. Mm -hmm. And I just want somebody to understand the mental state that I'm in. Sometimes I get really, really depressed because I always have to show up for people. Mm -hmm. So then I'll be like, I, I want a man to be there to comfort me during that moment. I just feel like a so man. So you want a maid too? I don't want a maid. I want a man. So she want to be the man. She basically talking like she the man. We not the same. She, bro. she might as well get with a female. You sound like you want him to be there too. No, I don't. It's different, man. With all due respect, because you can call me like so many names, I can say this. With all due respect. Oh, he, oh, he about to get it off his chest. Get it off your chest, Jay. Spit it out. Say it with your chest. Back to the wall. That is just, it's just, it's just. Say what you, you got it say. fucked up. I'm gonna I tell got you it fucked up. Okay. Yeah. Because just because a, a guy has a job doesn't mean that he can't understand the things that you're going through. Okay. Just because a guy has a job doesn't mean he's not an entrepreneur. Mm. Um. And since we're talking, since we're here, yeah. right? This is my first time ever having a, a corporate job. But mm -hmm. you, if you don't get really, past what made the, you to, what made you go to the job? Um, to support my lifestyle because uh, my passion isn't um, paying for the type of life I want. And I'm yeah, the type I'm happy of, that you have a passion. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm the type of person that's going to get it no matter what. Mm -hmm. But so what's before your passion? that, right? Yes. I mean, pa yeah, podcast. Mm -hmm. I, so I, just, you, I have three so jobs. So you work to pay for this? Yeah. So instead Absolutely. of doing this full time and reaching out for like sponsorships and all that, you go to work. You think to I don't do this full time? No, I'm just asking. I do this full time. So then what time do you go to work? Uh, I go to work around like eight in the morning. What time do you get off? Depends. Four or five, but I'm Okay, I'm then what doing... time do you start podcasting? But at the end of the day, when you just start a YouTube channel, you can't just go out and reach out for sponsorships. You have to wait till your YouTube channel get to a certain level and then reach out for sponsorships and etc. That don't happen like fast. That's something you have to work towards. So in the meantime, while you're working towards this, you might have to work a job. There's nothing wrong with working a job to support something that will replace the job first. The YouTube will reach out for sponsorships eventually, but you got to work to get to that point. You see what I'm saying? That's what I don't think she's understanding that, you know? Probably eight in the morning. And then what time do you start? Wait, you start podcasting at eight in the morning, eight at night? I have to edit. I have, oh, to, true, 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 I have true. to reach out to but sponsors. So what time do you come here and then what time do you stop? I come here whenever I need to. Okay, so what time? Whenever I need to. What time? Today is that? could be six, tomorrow could be four. Okay, and what time do you end? I don't. 
honestly. So what time are you leaving here tonight? So you mean to tell me you put 40 hours into this, the same 40 hours that you put into your job? I don't put 40 hours into this. What do you do? I probably put like 100, honestly. Mm, yeah. With that, while no you're at work? Yeah. I, like when I'm working, since it's an interrogation, but what, since I'm working, it's I'm not. editing. No, it's fine. I'm editing. I'm uh, on phone calls. I'm emailing people to get guests. Uh, I think I probably reach out to y'all and talk to y'all while I was working, mm-hmm. but I'm still working this job. But I say to say, back to you. I don't I don't fault because you can have your own opinion. You can True. have your own preference. But True. what I would say is I feel like when, when you say that you can't date a guy with a job, you don't really get to know his his background, right? Like like this is my first time having a job, right? I could be a hundred percent entrepreneur, right? Or somebody else. And you missed that. But go ahead. I like And this that. is what I would I like say. That. Thank you. You know, respect the man's man. Respect the mic, respect the man. True, respect the mic and respect the man. What I can say is Everybody is not equal and everybody is not made the same. So everything is not for everybody. And I respect you having a job to fund your passion. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I scam to fund mine. Show me. Are we done? (laughs) No, no, no. I told God I would never never scam again if he just showed me something else. Okay, okay. I I didn't lie to God. I don't lie to God. No, you just lied to me. I said I scammed. Oh, with the ED. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, okay. I said I scammed scammed to fund my passion. Do you Mm, hear what I'm saying? mm. So I respect you for doing something to fund your passion because that could be temporary. You know, having a job for you could be temporary. That that might not be what you see for the rest of your life. Oh, I'm sorry, guys, but I have my dog. I thought something was wrong with him. My dog. That's a very expensive. You know, exotic bully, if y'all know about them. I breed, I'm a breeder. I thought he was choking. So I was like, oh, I got kind of scared. Let's keep it going. But just to take that time to sacrifice to do that, to fund a passion like this, in a few years, this shit might blow up, which I think it will blow up. Hmm. But for the person who I am in the space that I am in now. That ain't for you. It ain't for me. That's perfectly and fine. And I will say, too. All you got to do, look at me. All you got to do is write you a good business plan and get you a little loan to get you the funding to do this. Cause mm-hmm. I would have had to find a way out. Nah, bro, that's the they doing, bro. Like that's some the worst knowledge. Why would he take out a loan when he can just fund it using his job? It's best to be not in debt. And that other girl, the other girl, she said that it's not for her right now. So you're looking for a man that's complete. This is what I'm trying to tell you. That guy right there who's working a job to fund his passion is the guy who you need to be with if you want a rich man. You see he's doing it. You see he's almost there. All he needs is that female to help push him. And now guess what? They can both be rich together. But you're looking for a guy who's already there. But that guy who's already there already got a female already or don't want you. He wants somebody who went through the struggle with him. So why not help a guy? You know he's going to be there. He got the passion. He's working on the passion. He's doing his thing. You know he's going to be there. Why not stick with him while he's... And, and, and go through the struggles. Go through a little bit of the struggle. A little bit of sacrifice with him. And then y'all can both reign together. Why not do that? You know what I'm saying? But hey, thank you guys. Leave a comment. And tell me what y'all think about the video. But hey, see you guys in the video. Let's get it.